Alright guys, GP Mushrooms here. See the hat? Alright, today I'm going to show you how to handle spore syringes or spore prints and make yourself a spore syringe. But what I like to do myself with spores is make a liquid culture from it. Uh, when, you, when you do that, you're making first generation spawn. It's going to be strong, it's not going to be weak. It's the best way to handle spores. So let me show you how to do it. Alright, I've already wiped my area down with alcohol, and now we're going to make the liquid for the liquid culture, or for the spores. Uh, we're going to use Carol light corn syrup. I'm going to fill this jar up between these two words here with warm water, and I'm going to put a tablespoon of Carol corn syrup in it. And of course, there's my syringes. What I like to do is pressure cook my syringes in a jar. You know, I can just pull them out as I need them, and they stay, you know, contaminant free. There's my alcohol spray bottle. And there's my pole who spore prints on a aluminum foil. Alright, so I'm going to fill this up and get it going. Alright, I got my Carol corn syrup in there. See how I filled it up between the two words on the jar? That's about as far as I ever go. And I threw in a, you probably can't see it, a drywall screw. So now I'm going to pressure cook this for 15 minutes at 15 PSI. Alright, my jar is cooled off. Like I said, I cooked it at 15 PSI for 15 minutes. Um, now what I did was I grabbed one of my old syringes, you know, from a uh, recent order in the past. And I sucked some fluid out already. Just a little bit. Um, you know, no specific measurements. It's at 4 CCs right now. Sorry, brain fart. Now I already stuck my uh, my spore print. You know, it's already been on. It's on a foil. I stuck it on a lid. You know, I guess I kind of got to make a little bit of a, a bucket of it. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to squirt some liquid in here and I'm gonna suck it back up. All right, I'm gonna spray my liquid into my spore. Uh, sorry. It's hard to concentrate. <laughs> Into my spore print. Now I'm going to suck it back up. Alright, done deal. Now I'm going to put it in here. I've already alcoholed everything. I'm all about spraying everything now. Even spraying myself down. And now I'm going to spray. There we go. Now that's going to become liquid culture, pole hood liquid culture. Um, you know, technically, you know, like, well, I put my, all right, by spraying that liquid into the foil and getting the spores up and sucking it back into the syringe, that's making yourself a spore syringe. Now from the spore syringe, I spray the spores into my now my liquid to make some liquid culture. Now I'm going to stick this in my warming box for a few days. I don't like to take a look I, too early. I think it jinxes it. <laughs> and uh, let's see what we got. Alright guys, I just pulled it out of my warming box. It's been three days. And there we go. We have liquid culture. Look at that mycelium. Now that's G1 spawn right there. G1 liquid culture. That's the best you can have. In my opinion, of course. We all have our own opinions. But, you know, from this I'll be able to, uh, you know, I'll have me a nice steady supply. Uh, if product goes bad, I always got more of my selling to fall back on. So now all I have to do is get a syringe, suck up some of that liquid culture, spray it on some grain, and I can start making some grain spawn from it. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed.